Hello guys, my name is JP, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, as promised, I'm going to check out that mod. Uh, that mod, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of spaced out there for a second. Let get it spaced out. I'm going to try out that mod that gives me all of those, uh, those parts I keep running into in the utility. Uh, the various hybrid engines, and it has large electric engine, and medium electric engine, and hybrid engines. Uh, it even has a, a smaller one, a replacement for the for the normal one that comes in the game, I believe. Let me check. It has medium. Yeah, the regular size one now produces two instead of 0.5. A medium hybrid. A large hybrid. Okay, so they, they simplified it. Uh, I had an old version of this before where it's <coughs> where it had uh, like one of each size. Where it had a medium hybrid, small hybrid, large hybrid, and the same for the regular electric. And so I'm thinking for this. Uh, since I really want to see what these gigantic solar arrays are, the, s the double gigantic or the mega, mega XXL, they provide so much power. I want to see just how big they really are. So I'm going to put a probe. I'm going to use the the hyper jump to get out there. really stop connecting the rest of the ship to this thing. It just makes it all wobbly. Like up here I can probably just put batteries or something. That's really all I think it would need. Just a couple up there and I'm going to use the large external side ones that it has. I think are also part of this mod. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because the external batteries that come with the game are just these little ones. So let's go ahead and move on up. We want the usual RCS, of course. Although it's supposed to be a deep, deep space vessel, so it wouldn't really have much use for RCS because you'd run out of it pretty quick. Just making maneuvers. But that's the point of the SAS be able to maneuver uh, without the use of RCS. So I'm thinking we'll go with... I kind of want to see what the large hybrid does. It does 50. That's pretty powerful for a deep space. Alright, this thing needs a regular fuel tank, xenon gas, and electricity. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. We have these large external xenon containers. Let me see if they added one for the normal size. Yep. That's 1500 in, so we'll take two of those. I hope that's enough. I assume it'll be enough. Assuming it's fuel efficient, it should be plenty. And two of these? Just take one, I guess. I don't know how much. I think it's mostly going to take a lot of power. I think that's the point of the thing. So we'll put the medium hybrid on here, right? Yeah. It has 20 power on a deep space vessel. I mean, because if this doesn't perform better than a, than a nuclear engine, the nuke engine, that was my own hyperdrive I was trying to make, the atomic rocket motor, then it doesn't really have a point. So we can go ahead and... I'm gonna put a couple of the large ones on the side of this thing. Mostly for... for safety purposes. But hopefully we'll be relying on these super gigantic... That's just what I'm gonna keep calling them. Super gigantic. Uh, solar rays. I put them at this angle, so hopefully, even if I just, even if I'm on the 90 and open up two, open them up, 
Uh, it should still catch the light on at least two of them. I'll put some of these on here, in between. Man, this thing's gigantic already. I don't know how this is going to take off. It's like out of surface area to put things on. Let's see if I can stick these on here somewhere. Okay, I can, I can stick them onto the battery, that's perfect. It would have been a short trip if it couldn't get, couldn't get up into the air. It would have rolled out to the... It would have rolled out to the... the launch pad and then had to come back so I could fix it. I think that's everything. It has a hyper jump drive to get up into space, it has these to get up into the air, it has a crap load of electric generation. It has hopefully plenty of fuel for the engine. And in a second we will be able to get up into the air. Just like that. And if this works, we might go ahead and make a kind of a super deep space station. Probably a. Uh, I'm thinking a. Was it, is it? Is it Eve? Moho. That's the one. The one that's supposed to be Mercury. We might make a. Uh, a solar. A solar orbit space station within the orbit of Moho. And of course, unless I have a way over there, I have to do it myself the first time, which means I will have to make it so that it can get there on its own, and since it takes so much so much time and power and maneuvering to do it, uh, I will have to probably use the these engines in particular, these hybrid ion engines. Uh, hybrid ion test vehicle. Ready? Save it. Uh, double check it. Lift off. Space. Power. 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 Lights. RCS. Fuel. 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 SAS. Hyper jump. Power. And just nose gun. Okay, should be good. Yeah, I've had to begin the habit of double checking my ships. Because Obviously, if you take off and you've forgotten something, you can you only have the one choice. Like, oh, gotta abort. Gotta go back and fix it and start all over. Send it up. Unlock drive controls. They run out, we can release and activate the jump. Release, activate jump. Alrighty. What we're going to want to do is flip this thing around. It's pointing the right direction. By what by right I mean the proper direction to to burn in a manner that will allow me to uh get out there, really. We want to do it on the, the periaps, I believe. Add maneuver, make it big see if it can even do that. Doesn't need to be crazy. Let's 
probably good. We'll follow the other one out. Actually, I wonder if that one's already on. We'll, we'll tunnel jump to it. Yes, okay. Shortcutted. We were already on an escape orbit with the hyperspace DSEP, the deep space endpoint. And it looks like I knocked the crap out of it because it's. It's lagging back. Wow. It has no movement. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. I'm going to switch to it real quick and see if I can do something. Get rid of this. I think it's destroyed. It's not letting me even uh, switch to it. Yeah, I think it's dead. Huh. Well, we are already on escape then. So let's unfurl these gigantic solar panels and see what the deal is. They are indeed gigantic. Stand panel. Problem is, it looks like they bump into each other. But I don't think that's actually a problem for Kerbal Space Program. Most of the parts don't clip. Alright, we don't need that maneuver anymore, that's for sure. It's so confused because we just suddenly jumped. We didn't uh, actually orbit our way out here, we just were there. It's still not letting me... It's not even letting me select it as a target. I think it's destroyed. Oh wait. I'm gonna switch to it. I'm gonna see if it works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, like, stuck in hyperspace. It is gone. It does not exist anymore. I, I want nothing to do with this. This is something rising all over again. I, I shouldn't have seen things. I'm gonna, like, rip my eyes out now and and freak out. Oh god. Well, we lost a ship to hyperspace. That's that's a first. We've lost the deep space endpoint. Which isn't too big of a deal. In fact, I think I've crashed the game entirely, because now I don't see anything. So I will pause the recording, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, horrible news. It looks like uh, I've destroyed the save file. Uh, even when I exit the game and come back to it, it kind of takes me back to this. My only other option is to completely exit the game and try that. So unfortunately this will be the episode. Uh, if it works, I'll be back and the next episode will be the continuation of the testing of the hybrid ion engine because right now it's, it's going to take me a while to see what's up with this to try to fix it so thanks for watching I know this is a crappy ending uh, I will see you next time with more Kerbal Space Program hopefully if not I'll I'll have to start a new save file if it doesn't work so wish me luck